hi everyone and welcome back to my channel it's Judy today I'm going to be showing you my rock collection that I have painted myself I drew on them I did all the painting and I have had several subscribers ask to see them since I have mentioned in the past that I do uh, paint rocks so maybe someday um, in the near future, I'll do a like a craft and chat where we can just have some fun and craft on whatever you feel like that day. And I'll be working on one of my rocks. So here we go, guys. I'm going to go ahead and show them to you. This um, rock here is of my Mayflower. And these rocks are from Michigan. And little J, that's my signature right there. And we put little J because my mom's name was Jan and even though I'm Judy my sister says I act like my mother a lot and so I was signing all my stuff <laughs> the ones that I did sign anyway this might even be the only one I signed but with little J so anyway that's my little Mayflower with my Mayflower guys on it I was really proud of this one I like this one a lot okay so let's go ahead and get to it there is quite a few in here, so I'll just run through them real quick. Get them out of my box. So there's that one that I just showed you. And the next one, I'll show you my big ones first. Here is my bunny rabbit that I did. You'll have to excuse me too. I have a little bit of ink on my finger here. From a project I was doing earlier. But that's my bunny. And he'll be coming out soon for Easter. <clears throat> um, this is Christmas past. Get it? Since Christmas is past. Uh, anyway, my Santa. He's one of my favorites too. He just went back in. Because I had him out for Christmas. And here's my guy for Thanksgiving. And if you can't see it because it's a little dark, it says autumn is, no, it just says autumn time. And these are things, and I have freehanded all of these, and then I painted them. So that's one of my favorites. Here's one with the scenery of a window on the front with flowers. Yeah, and that's one of my favorites, too. If you can get it up close enough. My light, there we go. It's better. My light is a little questionable in here. So I did that one. I love windows that look like that. I think that's really cool. None of mine do here, but I do like how they look. All right. And here is one of my little gnomes that I did for Christmas. And here's one for Halloween, a little pumpkin house that I did. So I really like that one. Okay. And here's one that says, Love Anchors the Soul. And then here, I never really did finish this one, actually. It was supposed to be of like a willow tree, um, but I haven't finished it yet. So, we got a lot of work left to do on this one. Uh, let's see here. This is, I did of a beach scene. Um, I've got a sailboat here. A little island. You get your water. And the sun. Got some birds here. I don't know if you can see them. It's kind of hard to with the white color of them. Well, it's actually blue there, but like I guess my camera just does not. It always looks different. But anyway, that's my little beach scene on just a uh, hunk of rock that I picked up from somewhere. And here is another just a hunk of rock that I picked up from somewhere, and I made that into a waterfall. 
So that is a waterfall with some flowers and moss on the sides. That's one of my favorites. I guess I should probably make a rock garden outside. I can use them all in there, couldn't I? All right, and these ones, oops, excuse me. These ones right here are some more beach ones that I did. This one says, beach you to it. And this one says, seize the wave. And then we've got seize the day. And then we have got, oh, here's another one for Thanksgiving. This one, his belly says, eat ham. So that's my turkey. <laughs> I think he's really cute. Eat ham. I guess so. All right. Here is my no drama llama. No drama. That's what I like. No drama. It is no fun when there's a bunch of drama going on. Um, here is a rock that was shaped like a heart. And I just put some flowers on it. Get it up there. There we go. And here was a really cool like pinkish color rock. So I didn't even have to paint it. And it had different colors in it like gray and pink. And so I made a tree on it little family tree got some shinies on it so I did that one and then I've got my little bird that says be kind he's really cute he's one of my favorites be kind um, oh, here's another random rock that I had picked up that I made into a little house as well Kind of like a little country house out in the middle of the woods. So I thought that was really cool. And I left that blank like a stone wall because it's got like these little extra rocks in it. So those are the kind of rocks that really have a lot of character that you can really come up with some good stuff for your imagination. And let's see what else. Oh, here's my, here's my duck I'm drinking some water. And this is kind of like, uh, I don't know, you can interpret this anyway, but this is kind of like a, a mountainside with a keyhole in it, uh, painted into it to like see through the future. Um, just kind of came to mind one day. And this actually right here, it looks like it's got like a shell. I don't know if you can tell it right here. It's got like a shell imprint in it. You tell it but uh, that's one of my favorites I actually had um, saw that and uh, I had to duplicate it because I thought it was really cool so this is just another uh, random piece of regular this was just a regular rock this wasn't even like anything from Michigan this is just somewhere I picked it up like the shape of it and uh, did what I wanted to do with it all right and then I've got this one and this one I did from and I had colon cancer because that's the color of the colon cancer ribbon. And I turned it upside down to make it into a flower pot. And so I painted some flowers on it. What I think is really cool is right here there is a hole in the rock that was already there. And I could actually make that into a necklace. In fact, I probably should hang it up. Probably should do that. All right. And then let's see here. This is a little... Uh, scarecrow guy and let's see oh these are kind of just in a little um, Frankenstein guy and we got a spider uh, let's see here oh here's my my chicken there's those little feet down there it's my chicken or rooster, whatever you want to call him, probably rooster, but the way he looks, um, oh, here's another bird that I did, he kind of reminds me of a mixed media bird, so I did that one, and let's see here, uh, this one says, beautiful, let's see here, 
if you can see that one. A little bit of glare on it. Um, let's see here. And then I've got my fish. And I did this rock. It's called, it says life is short. So dot, dot, dot. So you can smile. Laugh. You might not be able to see these very well. So smile, laugh, believe, inspire, be happy, and love. And they're all supposed to go around there, and that's how you display them in a little dish or wherever you want. I'll show you up closer. It's just hard to see down there because there's a little bit of a glare, so I can bring them up. So I thought that was a really cute idea. I did see that on Pinterest somewhere, so I copied that and did my own words, though. So that's fun. So I get those over there. All right, let's see. This is actually the very first rock I painted. I painted a feather on it. And then I just did some, like, stitching around the outside of it. And that's it. Very simple. But that was my very, very first one. Uh, let's see here. This one isn't. It's just simple candy corn. Very easy. Easy peasy. Um, this one. <laughs> this one isn't. The, some of them are not as good as the other ones. But this one I think is cute anyway. Nonetheless, it says mice chevious. Or mice cheesius. Instead of mice mischievous mice cheesiest and I did it on this one because it's got holes all kinds of little holes in the rock that's why I did that one on that um, here is a dandelion that says wish and oh here's another fish and we are almost done too by the way this is my fish oops you only needed one eye because you're not going to be sitting them like that so that's my fish. It's a side profile. And here is my umbrella with rain. It goes like this. So, so that's that one. And this one I just did some dotting around. That's fancy smancy there, but and a little angel. And then my last two, this was actually the second one I did, and this is my banana. <laughs> um, let's see if I can get it up in there so you can see all of it. And I think it really looks like a banana, guys. Or some may say a taco, but it's supposed to be a banana. I don't know if you can see exactly how I shaded it to make it look like a banana, but that's what it is. That's one of my favorites. And then my last one that is probably my most favorite one right here is, shh, I'm hiding from stupid people. <laughs> I saw that one in a, a Pinterest thing too and did that. I thought that was pretty funny. So you guys, that's basically, that's my rock collection and I hope you enjoyed watching and taking a look at them and trying to throw them all in here into the mix so that everybody can see them it doesn't really want to necessarily do a rundown of the video well i don't know i guess it's not going to work because i'm not going to be able to get them all into view right now but but yeah so that's all my rocks i hope you guys enjoyed um watching and seeing them as I enjoyed showing them to you and like I said I'll have to uh, come back on another day and we'll do a craft and chat and we can all maybe paint a rock together or whatever craft you feel like doing at the time so all right guys well I am going to get off of here and I appreciate you guys stopping by thank you for 
all of my subscribers. If you're new, um, welcome. Please hit the subscribe button. I would really, truly appreciate it. And um, for all my subscribers that I've had for a while, thank you for uh, sticking with me. And happy crafting, guys. And stay safe. I'll see you later. Bye.